Hello, this is Lord Og and welcome to Path of Exile. This is the start of my LP we're going to do. Uh, I want to get into it, but I want to quickly explain my thinking of the characters. Uh, between me and Fergus, who is a real life friend of mine, we have actually covered four of these characters. Not covered them thoroughly, but covered them. Um, Fergus has had a marauder, a witch, and a shadow. I've had a witch and a ranger. So between us, we've done witch, ranger, shadow, and uh, marauder. So the only two left that we haven't done is a templar and a duelist. Now, usually I go for int-based characters. And out of those two, the int-based is the templar, which is kind of like a strength int mix. But for a change... I'm going to go for the Duelist, which is going to be a strength dex mix. It's going to take me away from what I usually do. It'll be interesting. I'm kind of looking forward to trying it. <coughs> so let's bring him out. He had it coming. This is him. Was I supposed to bear such insults with an action simply I'm because of his high it. birth? Lord Oak LP. That Lord sang a different okay. tune with six inches of steel in his guts. Okay. Now Good they call you. me a criminal for defending my honor. Okay, so we'll call it Lord Ug LP because that's what it is. So uh, let's get started. Let's get straight into it because I want to. Uh, now I'm not going to get too deep into the skill system of this or how it works because I'm going to do a separate video explaining it all. It'll probably be tomorrow that one. So okay, let's uh, start off. You usually start off with a guy that's dying, and you talk to him, and he'll say, "We're all that made it. They dumped." Two dozen of us exiles off that ship. Guess that makes us the lucky ones. <sighs> Luckier than this poor bastard beside me, at any rate. <coughs> Splinter sticking out of me? Missed all the important bits. <clears throat> I saw smoke at those ruins up the beach. Go get some help, and I might just... And that's... there you go. So basically, that that's just stood up is like a zombie, and it's just killed him. Now there is a rusted sword there, so we'll pick that up. And uh, oh, you click on him and give him some whack. And that's Even about all there is to it. And uh, he's dropped a, a skill crystal, which again, I will explain all about crystals as we go. What's this one do? It 40% uh, removes physical weapon damage while dual wielding. Okay. The character swings both their weapons or both weapons if you're willing and an arc towards the target also does damage to other nearby. Okay. That'll do me. So let's put it in. That's we've got it now. Let's do this. Oh, let's take that off. Okay. Now you're going to have zombies coming out and things like that to start with. But no, I decided. Here we are. Look, you see? I decided that I. See, that's it there. That's cool. That's the one I've just picked up. The skill I just picked up. Called Cleave. Now, like I say, I just wanted something different, something that was more, more me, and more well, less me actually. That was something more unlike me. So, uh, like I say, usually when I play these kind of games, I'm a warrior or oh, I hate these spit little buggers. I'm usually a warrior or a. Uh, where is he? Where's he gone? That's it. We'll be on that fence. Come on, follow me. I'm trying to split your own. That's some of that. He did. He had it and he died. What's that? Play vest. That was some of that. And press that. And let's heal up. Some of that. And you. And you can have a bit more. What are you doing? Don't run. Oh, that's it. Bring me to your body. See, so I ain't breathes. Let's take that. Yeah, I'll be I'll be explaining everything as I go to make a. That's good. You see, it automatically puts them in if you have got a gap free, which is fine. Uh, yeah, I'll be automatically explain. I'll be automatically. I'll be explaining how the uh, skill system works and all that as we go, and how the um, gems work and everything. So don't worry about that if I'm not doing it right now. Right now I just want to get to the main town, which is kind of the first place you go. Miss me. The few things about this game that's actually quite interesting 
And here's one. And here's one that's probably going to... Well, that is going to affect some of you because you won't be used to this at all. But it's... Uh, have some of that. It's the fact that there's no money in this game, if I remember right. There's actually no money. Everything is done by trading. When you take your stuff to a shop, they don't give you money. What they do is they give you parts of orbs, usually. And those parts, when added together, like you might need 20 parts of an orb to get a full orb, to make a full orb. So that's what they do. They trade in parts like that. So there's no actual money in the game. And uh, I found that very interesting because, of course, that's not what I'm used to. That's what, not what a lot of people are used to. Because usually we're used to things being worth X amount of gold, which I think is a really nice touch. It also, I think one thing it does that's quite good, it gets rid of gold sellers to some extent. Because, of course, there's no money to make. You don't, you don't make money. It's nice not to be dead yet. Yeah, I've leveled up. Yeah, you don't have to... Uh, I'm not going to actually spend that skill point. I've made a skill point, it's here. I'm not going to spend it yet because I'm going to save it for the tutorial that I'm going to do. Because I want to make sure I have uh, skill points to spend to show you around when I do it. Yeah, but I like the fact it's got no money. I'm not fully sure when it comes to trading with people. I haven't My spirit really, is spent. I haven't really decided. I haven't decided. Sorry, I haven't really worked out how that works yet. I haven't had to trade with anyone yet. That's because my my uh, witch hasn't exactly found anything outstanding. I mean, we found orbs like these. Uh, these orbs is an alteration. So it reforges a magic item with new random properties. So magic item. Have I got one yet? No, I haven't. Magic item is a blue writing. If you see an item with blue writing, that's a magic item. Now they have properties tell it, you know, that special things that they add on to your to, to your character. And that orb, orb of alteration lets you lets you kind of do do new get new properties if you don't like the ones you've got on your weapon item. Don't like these spitting things that got me nerves. I'm getting. No, I'm not usually a melee character because I usually find them boring. I must admit, because I don't like the fact that you just kind of stand there holding a button down, and that's the extent of your attack. I like the fact, like with the uh, Witcher, for we Witch, for instance, you have to be, you know, kiting. You have to be moving round. You have to always be dodging, and I I like that because it keeps you busy. Whereas. Uh, yeah, with this it's just so far, but I mean that's only a start yet, I don't know, I'll have to wait and see. But so far it's just kinda you know, hold the button down and let it just run up and kill the thing until it hit the thing till it drops dead. Like that. So uh well, we'll take these because we can always sell them in town. Well trade them. It calls them selling. It does still call them selling. It's called selling you know, it will say at the NPC sell sell items, but you don't actually sell them. You just kind of trade them in for something else. Now, you've only got, here's the thing as well, you've only got five slots at the bottom. What you see there is, I'll show you in a minute, I'll put my cursor on it for you, let me just kill this idiot. Here, so you've got only, you've only got these five slots. Now, they, they're there, you can put, you can put what you want in there. You can put what potions you want in there. They're for your potions, basically. You can have five healing parts, you can have any mixture of healing and or magic you can put in you know pots that make you run faster pots that put your resistance up and you can you know mix and match and have what you want now as you fight your gems the gem you saw me put a gem in and i in that in there uh, let me bring it up here you saw me put this gem in there well what happens is as you use it it levels up i want you to look at just below the blue writing it says, seven, there's a yellow bar and it says 70 stroke 70. I can't point to it because as soon as I to move off at cleave, it'll disappear. But it's around that area there. So it says 70 stroke 70. That means that it's as high as it can go. Now you've got, now you can put it up here, you see. You can level up your cleave gem and that makes it more powerful. So for instance, let's just have a quick look at it. It does, uh, where are we? Damage effectiveness 70%. Uh, that'll probably be what do, well, what's going to go up. And uh, so let's put it up. 
I don't know if it is that little go up. No, it's not that that went up. <laughs> but it is stronger. I can promise you it's stronger. I didn't actually see where it, where it put up, but it is stronger. So that is basically how you do it. You have to you have to level your your gems up, and that's what makes your skills stronger. By where by leveling your gems up makes your skills stronger because that's where you get your skills from. See, they're dying a little bit quicker now. I'm not having to heal up as much. And what you're doing is there's a guy at Ender here that you're going to kill, and. Uh, or you're going to try and kill, and then you go back to town, and uh, you'll sell up and have your first quest in. Your first quest is basically to kill this guy. So you want to make sure you've tried, you've got most of this stuff on, and you'll get it on as you go. Nah, I've got nothing, I've got nothing better, I've got nothing magical anyway. So, should be getting closer to him now. See the cleave, it hits more than one, I think. It looks, yeah, it killed two there. So it kind of multi hits, which is nice. Oh, they're dying in one hit now, that's good. I should be close to that guy now. He's a big, giant, tall. There he is. <laughs> Just gonna say that, so. Let's go say hello to him. His name's Hillock. And he is hard. Now, there's nothing else to do, there's no. You know, this is rocket science. All you can do is just whack, keep whacking him till he drops dead. See, this is the kind of thing I mean. When I was on my witch, I had to actually run round a bit. I had to actually run round a bit and uh, dodge and kite a bit, but this is just holding the button down, basically. There we go. Anyway, as you can see, we have some blue items now. These are the magic items, so we're going to put them up first because I want to make sure I got them. Now what I want you to look at is, as I said, let's look, find a magic item. Now if you look at this, it, uh, when I say this says, reforge a magic item with new random properties, I've got to unlock it. Scroll of wisdom, right click, left click on an unidentified uh, item. That's as an identified at the bottom. Click it, there you go, and it's opened it up. Now that magic item has got nine to intelligence, that's its properties. It's only got one, and that's down to intelligence. So if I right click that and cast and put it on that, it'll get new properties instead of it might not even get nine intelligence, that'll that will be wiped. And it can get it can end up getting anything. So <clears throat> be careful before you use things. Make sure you really do not like the properties you've got on something. Because if you do like one property, it doesn't matter. It it kind of re-rolls them all. So you could end up losing the properties you do like. You can't pick a map pick you can't pick which ones you want to keep it just does it all okay so here we are we've made it to town we're going to come into here somebody will come and open the gate for us thank you kindly and we enter lion eyes watch so we'll come up here <coughs> along the beach and into town there you go now this is your stash the stash here is shared by all characters that you create. So everything in here, I'll, tell, I'll show you some stuff. Everything in here is what I've picked up from using my witch and my ranger. Mostly from my witch. So these are the orbs I was telling you about. They all do different things. I've only got this one right now. I'm going to put it in here. But they do different things. You've got some that add properties, that add colour to sockets and all sorts of things. Uh, these are different health pots that you can get because they come in different sizes. These are medium, large, and uh, then you've got your hybrid flasks, which do HP and uh, MP together. And these are pure MP, these are your HP. Got some uh, necklaces and rings I can do. As you can see, we've got some armor I've saved up, some belts, nice belt there. See, that's a, that's, that's a rare, and that's a unique. Unique's are a little bit better than rares. So, in order, it kind of comes your normal, magic, rare, and unique. And then you've got lots of, lots of room, some more in there. And then finally, I've just got all some gems in here that I've uh, been picking up. Of course, these are going to be good for my, for my uh, duelist. Now, I don't know, guys. I'm going to ask you one quick question before I bring this video to an end. Do you want me, is it okay, I should say, for me to use things out of here for my duelist? Now, if you want me to read, to just pick everything up myself 
as I go. I'll do that, I don't mind. But if you don't mind me using stuff from here, I'll be you know, using some of these flasks to give myself better flasks and you know some better armor and things like that and some better skills is going to find them all because I might not even find these. So if you want me, you know, if you don't mind me doing that, then I'll use my stash to kind of help it along a bit. But if you don't like it, then I won't. It's your choice. Let me know what you think and I'll tell you. Whatever biggest most vote for, I'll go for that. Here, when you've got a question mark over the head, it usually means that they've either got a quest for you or you've got to turn one into that person. So we've got three requests here for us or one that you've got to turn in. And uh, that's all I'm going to show you for now. So we've made it to the first to the first, to the first town, Lion Eye. You'll be here a while because there's quite a lot to do. This is the uh, we've only got this little bit open. This is your map, and uh, you've only got a little bit open. But there will be more area open up, and we'll be here for quite a while, like I say. But for now, I'm going to go. I hope you've enjoyed this, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing more of it. Just let me know what you think about the stash thing. Personally, I don't think it matters. But then again, I don't really care either way because I play me witch for you know with stash and that. So that's up to you if you want me, if you don't mind me using that or not. But uh, yeah, we'll wait and see. So for now, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you soon.